goodies do we have in here today? Oh, look, we have a cat again already. This is the other cat. This is Fiven. This is the cat that we actually like. Not that big fatty. Okay. Some of these are made orders, and some of them are tests of jellyfish. So let's have a look. Okay, this was kind of a cool combo. This is jellyfish on, um, there's a, a color from Ephatre. It's number 680 and it's called Green Tea. It's from their Cool Colors line. It's kind of like a really pale mint green. So that is jellyfish on green tea. Here we have jellyfish on Ephetre 219 copper green with silver foil. Yeah, they're just like really, they look really cool. So I did a few tests with colors too, just because I wasn't totally sure. Um, like this, this glass seems to be Maybe it struck a little bit in the kiln because I didn't seem to be getting these reds while I was working with it. So I wasn't really sure what I was getting. There we go. This is um, a Fetre 266 opal yellow. And it's really, it's looking really dark in this light, but it's actually, it's not quite as dark and muddy as it looks, but it's still, well, there's, there's some interesting reactions going on. Might be a little bit too muddy though. This is jellyfish on Ephetre 031. Transparent light emerald. Which I think is kind of, kind of a cool effect. Jellyfish on white, 204, Fetri 204. Okay, and here's jellyfish on 038, transparent pale aqua, of Fetri, which I think I'll definitely make a full set of these. I really like, really like how this one looks. Very tropical. Jellyfish on 232. Ephetre light pastel light turquoise. It's kind of like a little muddy again. But it's kind of cool at the same time. You know, I think about that one. Um, this one is Ephetre 008, Pale Amber, and I just thought that this was really cool. There was like some kind of a reactive effect and brought out these really ghostly kind of tracers. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a full set of these for sure because this is really neat. some jellyfish just with the Kugler K100 loaded clear. These are um, beads that I make where I do kind of like a swirl spacer bead but then I encase it in clear. So there's like a little swirl of color in the middle and then just like a lot of clear encasing which they, they always look really neat. It's not really good and these are no exception. These colors look so pretty. And here are just my regular swirled and speckled rounds in the Kugler K100 as well. Yeah, I really like this blend. It's maybe not completely user-friendly like it doesn't go with absolutely everything but what it does do is pretty amazing 
gonna show these like they're just looking a little bit dark in this lighting but they're actually they're actually not they they're really just shining in the light the camera's not picking it up super well just almost like like quite ethereal really pretty This is jellyfish encased in Kugler K100 clear. So this is the type of bead where I just make a tiny bead, roll it in the frit, and then encase in clear. Which I have um, tutorials of. I think these came out really great. There's some spacers that I made with jellyfish in K100. really cool hey these are just my swirly spacers also have a in my frit tutorial um, I show this technique pretty much just take some clear dip it get melted dip it in the frit and then make a bead with it and yeah I'm laughing because because the dogs are trying to steal his mini eggs. Happy Easter, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of pets. <laughs> this is, that's Wolfgang. He's the wiener. And Kiaren, Wolfgang is about eight months old right now. And Kiaren is about 11 and a half. And they're buddies. 